Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77 and we are back on our Hermit Sky server. Today's the day. We're going to start to work on the actual part of the base, the main part of the base. And I'm going to be using what are called factory blocks for a lot of this. And so if we go in here and we look at factory blocks, let's do that real quick. The factory block takes stone and iron, okay? So what we're going to do here is I have this already laid out, so I have it ready to go. I've been cooking up some stone in preparation for this. So there we go. And this will generate 32, so we're going to get a lot of blocks. Excellent. That's a lot of material to work with, and that'll help us out a lot right now. Now, I've also made an eye chisel. And the neat thing about the eye chisel is it gives you an interface so you can kind of see what the patterns would look like. It's the same as a regular chisel, but it's uh, just a little bit better. So when I click on it now, I get a preview. And I can see, like, if, it's, if I was using this panel, I can see what it would look like if it was hollow or different features, okay? So as an example, let's choose like one of these that's kind of cool, like like that. What if it's hollow, you know, or if it's this? See, you can kind of see what it would look like. Uh, let's pick another good one here. See, this one has, it's a square, but yet it's doing all of this. So that's what's really cool about this thing is I can see what it would look like in different designs. So I can pick out the material that I want to use. Now, I'm not quite sure yet what I want to use. Um, I, If you recall from my full craft series, I use this block a lot, and I use these a bunch okay and i may not do that um, i'm going to do some of this i know for sure so let me uh let me get that and chisel that out i know i want some of those caution blocks are always nice but i don't know what else i want to do I and mean, i might do this this uh segmented rusty plate i, I kind of like the way that looks so let's do some of that in a second and then uh yeah we'll get some pieces out here and we'll start to do some building okay okay we're going to get this started over here i'm going to the north side I've put down some uh, blocks. What I'm going to have is it's going to be stairways going up. And I think I need to go one more back now that I think about it. Also, I want to thank Pause Player 10. He gave me this pick because it's uh, I was <laughs> blowing things away with my carbon one. So uh, I got rid of the carbon one and we have that. Okay. Uh, that might be too high. But anyway, let's do this here. There's one row, two rows, and a third row. Okay. And this here is where I want the edge to be for a layer. So what's going on here is I will have the normal floor will be at this height that I'm standing on and this is like a sub floor below it that we can have access to. Okay, does that make sense? Hope it does. Now one of the things I want to do here is I want to go out from this point. This wall will be different and I'll probably make that out of a different material but I want the inside wall to be like this, uh, this material. I'm thinking about putting some uh, caution tape down but if I go like this here so the neat thing is it kind of forms a pattern as you go, okay? So if I go out, let's see, I, let's see, let's go, uh, well, the whole thing is 21. So let's take the one out that's 10 each way. So let's do that. Let's just do 10 each side. So we're going to go, actually, it's not going to be 10 because I'm over on this side. Hmm. Well, let's do 10 anyway. <laughs> so we got one there. Let's do that again. Okay, now I'm going to go all the way across with this, going this way. Okay, and there we have it. Now, the interesting thing about this particular uh, texture, I'm going to go in uh, like another, another layer, and you can see it makes like a, a pattern out of this. So if we put a double layer, it's going to look like a little walkway, and that's what I really wanted, okay? So let me make this level out, and then I'll show you what I have uh, in just a little bit, and I think you'll think it's pretty cool. So this is what I've planned so far. It looks really cool. This spot here, I'm going to have glowstone that's been uh, chiseled. But it turns out I don't have enough glowstone, so we're going to go into the nether, and we're going to go and hunt some glowstone down real quick, and then come back. So that's the next step. Let's go do that. I've been exploring a lot. Uh-oh. Feels like he's coming to get me. Not sure. Anyway, I've been exploring a lot. Found this here, so we're going to grab this uh, glowstone. There we go. Got a lot of glowstone dust. That's enough for us for right now. 
And uh, I'm going to just a little more hunting. You can see I've got a lot of resources, but I'm trying to find some carbon. And uh, that's the next thing I've been trying to do. And I have some. I found six raw carbon, but I find a little bit more. That'd be great. So I'm going to go continue to hunt for a little bit, and then we're going to head back to the base. I'm back from my little nether run. We're going to make four pieces of glowstone here. Just like that. Okay. And then we're going to go and get the chisel, and we're going to use that to see what we can make here. Where did I put that chisel? I keep forgetting where I put things. Here's a chisel that'll work for now. Okay. So we're going to put this in here, and you can make different patterns of what you want it to look like. And I'm not sure what I want this one to look like at all. Um, these would be kind of cool. I don't want the brick kind, but I want it to be kind of neat looking. Um, those are kind of cool too. But it might be just glowstone neon right here. Let's try that, okay? There we go. Okay, let's go put that in. We'll see how that looks. I uh, dug a little tunnel so I could get out. That's fine. Okay, so here we go. That'll be what we do for these corners, okay? And so that'll help light this area up. Oh, right. Isn't that good? I think it's going to be good. So now we can take out some of these torches and see where light doesn't go. Uh, let's turn on F7. So right here in the center is a problem. And we'll have to figure that one out later. Okay, let's try this here. Yep, that's what I thought. Same area. Did that just go down? There? I don't know. We'll see. Okay. There will be one right there, of course, and then that right there. And there we go. Okay. I don't see anything catching fire, so that's about it. So that's what those are going to look like. Now, what I want to do next is I want to work on the floor, but I want the floor to be a half height floor. And I've seen some videos on how to do this, and it's going to be using chisel and bits. So let me go and get what I need for it, and we're going to, I'm going to practice a little bit before I come on camera so that I can show you uh, what I'm doing, okay? See you in a bit. I know I just said I was going to work on chisel and bits, but uh, I realized I had the carbon that I was cooking up, and I have 15 pieces of carbon, and that was the critical point that I needed for this next bit of project that I wanted to do. We're going to make a jetpack. This is very easy if you have carbon, okay? The carbon jetpack takes, looks like four here. This little piece here in the center takes five. Okay, and then each of these takes three and some uh, blaze powder, which I have. So let's make this up right now, okay? So the first piece was this here. There we go. And then it took, uh, what was it, this? Is that the right pattern? Did I do that wrong? I think I did it wrong. Hey, now wait. Okay, we're just going to do it the other fashion way. Here we go. Let's go in here. I need that. <laughs> let's do it again. Okay, and then we got four extra, so we should be able to hit this and hit that. And now we have a jetpack. Now, this has uh, uses RF, so we need to actually charge this up. And I'm going to run it over here. We're going to charge it up inside of our capacitor. So let's go in here. You put it in here, and you can see it's gaining power. So when it gets done, we'll try this out. It's done. Let's take it out. Here we go. Now, if we put this on, and here we go. We can fly. Let's see. Like we have a jetpack. Now, this is using power. You can see it's dropping pretty quick. This won't last long, but it lasts long enough so we can get around and we can fly around and like creative look like flight. See? Isn't that cool? It's excellent. Okay. And when you land, I go back in here. You can see it's turned off. And we just recharge it over at the uh, power station. Isn't that cool? Okay. Now let's get back to getting ready for the uh, chisel and bits. I just spent a little bit of time trying to work with chisels and bits, and I'm not very good with it yet, so you'll have to forgive me. I haven't really used the mod, and I'm still kind of clumsy with the controls. But uh, what I did is I created this diamond chisel, okay? And we also then need to start to make a this bag here, which is the chisels and bits bag. This is kind of like a repository for bits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and put this down. And I'm going to go into here, and I'm going to, uh, I think if you press the Alt button, you can pull things out. I'm going to get a single bit. Like that, okay? Now, that is useful because you need to go and make the bag. So if we go over here, should we just go right into it, right? There we have our wool that I've already made ahead of time. 
and that, and we get a bag. Like I said, the bag kind of stores the block, right? I'm going to leave that block there because it's got a bit missing. Okay, so now the next thing I wanted to try was to figure out how to get half slabs out of this material. So here we have a block, and I wanted to figure this out. So what I found is that if I press the Alt button, okay, I can do here grid snapped half sized cube, okay, and then I go in here and I just kind of uh, left click, and you can see it takes off half, right? And then we're left with this thing. Now, I'm going to be eventually using this chisel to get more of the same block. So what I like to do is make sure I don't forget is click at the same material. It means use the same material uh, for the next set of functions that I use, okay? So now we have this half slab here, and I want to make kind of like a pattern of that. And so what you need to make is what is called a positive chisel design. And the positive chisel design takes paper, some lapis, and a bucket of water, and I have one of all that in my inventory here, so I'll bring that, okay? Now you can see it looks like it's a blank piece of paper kind of looking. Okay, give me that bucket. Looks like it's a blank piece of paper, and it is. So what you do is you, while you have it, you go to right-click and you put it on placement, okay? And I believe you just got to look at the object that you want to imprint. And if you see now at the bottom there, it looks like it's uh, got some writing on it. And that means it's got that particular type of uh, object. So now let's say I put these blocks out here, okay? Remember this is set the same material. It's going to get the whole block and it's putting that into our bits bag. And you can see it's kind of like halfway full. But now the neat thing is I can use this positive placement card. I'm using this instead. And remember we're going to have that on placement. And you can see it's putting a picture of what we want. And it uses the bits from the bag. Does that make sense? So that's what we're going to be doing here. Is I'm going to be doing this for a little bit, and I'm going to show you where we're going to be putting this. Over this way, I have done some work off camera trying just to get some stuff laid out. This stairway will not be here, um, but you can see I've got it, so it's kind of like put some walls up and that sort of thing. And I redid this design slightly so that we would have better lighting, but that's what it is right there. So you can see that this area has walkways, it's lit up, that sort of thing. But now what I want to do is I want to put this inside here being the lower slab. So I'm going to go to this placement design here, and there we go. Just like that. A little bit tedious. But the point here is that with this being on a lower half slab, the uh, mobs won't spawn on it. So we're kind of doing some uh, base uh, prevention here. It's a little slower, I know, but hey. And see, the bit bag's getting kind of low. You can see it's in the red zone there. So what I'll do is I'll just go and put down some more blocks. So we chisel the bits out of this, right? So I'll just then go boom. You can see it's restocking. And that's pretty good. And I'll just keep on doing this. So that's the goal right now is to use this placement card and just get this floor looking like what we want. Um, that way, you know, like I said, mobs won't spawn. We can put then put this area and make it useful for something. And we'll do that in just a little, little bit. So let me uh, work on this for next uh, probably about uh, 20 minutes. And uh, we'll see what, what happens, okay? I'm still getting to used to the amount of blocks or bits that the bag can hold. And I've went over a few times, and that's not great. What I've found is that if I put five blocks down, right there, that's five blocks, I can chisel those fine. I don't overload my bag, okay? And that means that I have ten blocks that I can put down. So I just count them out. Six, eight, ten. And then I just go back and I'll put five more. It's about the easiest way that I can do this without going, you know, overloading my system and uh, getting too many bits that are sticking out there. So that's the way I'm doing it. And I mean, if you find a better way, please let me know. But that's the way I think about it. So anyway, let me get back to it. Alrighty, this should be the last set. Here we go. So you grab them, go back to the placement card and put them in. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So there we have it. We have a, uh, well, it's not really a room yet, but this will be a room. And we have a nice open area on the floor that we can do what we want. Does that look pretty cool? I think it looks really good. Let me know down in the comment section what you think of this uh, design. Um, anyway, from down here, you can see it's a room. It just, you know, looks like a regular, you know, floor. Now, I have... Three, wow. 
that was really loud and it was some sort of update that says, hey, I need to update something. How annoying. Anyway, so you have here three blocks high. This way I can run pipes and things underneath and not really get stuck. Uh, and that's the intention here. Now I'm going to try to divide the flooring here in case I do some sort of uh, vein mine accident. So that'll probably be something that I do shortly um, just to give it a little bit more of a uh, look. And I might even take through this whole flooring idea and just make it down low for the whole thing. Okay, so that way I don't have to worry about uh, any type of monsters down here. Okay, so uh, let me look on working on that for a few minutes, okay? Okay, I've put a line here, caution blocks, that will like kind of like delineate between this section and this section, and it goes right along the line that I have made up. Now this floor here, I really want to make it also a half slab down. So we're gonna try that. I'm gonna use this block. This block is the segmented rusty plates. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out here. Okay, we got a block. I'm gonna go over to the chisel. I'm gonna press Alt and I'm gonna do the uh, this one right here, grid snapped half size cubed. I'm gonna take four of those out. Don't forget to set it back to the same material. And I have another positive chisel design. I'm going to grab it. And there we have it. Now I can take this up and just click it. Now that's one block in the in the bit bag, so I'll do four more. Here we go, just like that. So I should have the amount of 10 blocks worth here. So if I take these two out and I use a positive design, now I'm gonna put it to placement and there we have it, okay? So there we go. I mean, all I have to do now is replace this floor here and you gotta be careful and you don't wanna vein mine it because that would be bad. Um, and plus it would make me hard to get it to where I need to go. But there we have it, see, it's pretty cool. There's four, six, eight, do two more. And we'll have to do this again and again. So, yeah, let me see if I can get this floor done. And we'll see how it looks, okay? Well, what do you think? I like it. This gives me uh, the ability to have the lower halves so that monsters don't spawn down here. Now, I have the uh, little red X thing on. So if I put, like, blocks down here, you can kind of see that it's on, which is good. But what you notice here is that there isn't any uh, of those little yellow X's out here at all. So that's good. Now one thing I want to uh, do is I want to fix this. I put this down and this was mostly to uh, make it so that when I vein mine I wouldn't have a trouble with going over to my main base and it worked fine. So we'll correct that. So there we go. So we have this line here that delineates each section and we have a section up here and we're going to work on that section in the next episode. Okay. This is really what I wanted to get done today. Now, the other thing I want to get do right now, though, is something I want to see if we can do it. Uh, I was flying around, and I almost died because the jetpack, which I told you in the beginning, has a very low amount of energy that it has, and I want to give it some more. And there's this thing you can make. It's a battery pack that you can put and you can keep in your inventory, which will uh, keep the uh, jetpack charged up for a lot longer, okay? And it's right here. It's an emerald-infused battery pack. So it takes a battery, and that's pretty easy stuff. We can probably do that. But then it takes these emerald carbon rods. And you can see it takes, uh, if you go back here, let me go back in here. It takes those, takes diamond rods, takes a gold rod, takes the iron carbon rod, lapis carbon rod. It goes way, way down, okay? And it's all based on carbon ingots. So what I'm going to do, since we got to make two of these, I'm going to start this process up and see if we can get this. This will be very useful. So we're going to need, obviously, we're going to need three carbon times two is six. And we're also going to need, for the battery, we're going to need two more. So we're going to need a total of eight carbon ingots. Now, I don't have that much carbon, so I'm probably going to have to go run out into the nether and go and find some carbon. But we can do that pretty quick, and I'm going to do that right now. So when I get back, hopefully we'll be working on some carbon. Okay, let's try to do this here. The battery here that we need is takes two carbon ingots and a redstone block, and I have that in my inventory, so let's just make the battery portion first. There's the battery. Okay, now if we're going to make this battery, we need two of each of these types of rods. And if you go down the line, it starts with the carbon ingots, and I have those, and I need to get two of those here, so let's do another one. Okay, so we have two of those. That's good. Now we'll just try to do this up, and I haven't looked that far ahead to see what I need to have in my inventory, so we'll just see what we need here. Okay, so basically we need to get two of these with redstone around it. Okay, so let's do that. And that was, uh, where is it? That with redstone around it. Okay, so now we got two of those. Okay, next level is 
all with lapis around it. Do I have lapis on me? I don't. Let's go find the lapis. Uh, where did I put it? Is it over here? One of these chests probably has it. No. No. Hard to find things sometimes. I really need to get a better storage system that it works well with what I've got. I know I've got lapis. Um, I may not have any, though. If I don't, let's just cook some of this up here. Here we go. We'll cook that up, and I'm going to sleep, and then we'll use that lapis in just a second. Here it is. It's all done. We've got 20 blocks out of that. Now I'm going to put this down here, and I'm going to uh, do this here with the wand, and then I have this has now has uh, luck on it. You can see here it's got luck one, which is kind of like a fortune one. It's not great, but it'll do what we want. And there we go. We have a lot of that lapis. Okay, now we can make these rods. Yes, okay, so we have those there. And we just go around it, right? And we get two of those. Excellent. So now we're at the next level. Let's see what these are here. Uh, it takes iron. So we're going to need 16 iron. And I don't even know if I have iron. Let's go look. I think I used a lot of that for my, uh, I don't have a lot of iron. Uh, I have 13. So I need to get just a little bit more iron. And that's easy to do because I do have uh, some more some of the iron here. So we might as well cook that up too, right? Yeah. So I'll put half a stack in here, put half a stack in here. We'll make one rod right now. Here we go. Okay. That rod's done. And we need to get iron around it. So let me get some more iron here. Come on. There we go. Actually, I'm going to take this out, put it over here, grab that, and we got four blocks right there. That'll work enough, and it'll be cooked up in just a second. Here comes the last one. Here we go. Now we have the eight iron that we need for this. We'll put this in here. And there we go. We got the two iron rods. So now let's see what the next one is. Looks like it's surrounded by gold. I think we've got gold. I need 16 ingots of gold. That's seven there. Yeah, that should be 16, right? There we go. Okay, so now we're here. We'll do that. And we got two gold rods. There we go. Now the next one is the gold surrounded by diamonds. I have that too, so we'll do that. Okay, we got the diamond ones. And I think the last one is just emeralds. And this is going to be tricky. I think we can do it with uh, emeralds. Oh, it's not emeralds, is it? It's emerald chunks, isn't it? Wait, wait, wait. I'm confused. Here, hold on. The emerald rods takes emerald bits. And emerald bits you get. Oh, that's easy then too. Okay, so let's do that. There we go. Excellent. Put that in there. Oops, grab this all around. There we go. And now we have those two emerald rods. You put those here with the battery, and you get the emerald infused battery. It's 16 times the capacity. And you look at the amount of RF. So now we have this over here. We'll throw it in the, uh, the bank here, and it will charge up. It's going to take a little time. We'll be right back when it gets done. Yeah, I'm impatient. It's been taking quite a long time. So I'm going to take it out here just for a little bit to show what this does. Okay, so I have it in my inventory. Now you can see here that uh, the jetpack has about 310,000, so it's not fully charged. What you can do is, with this item here, you hit shift and right click, and it turns it on. And if you notice, this is being charged back up. So you can leave this in your inventory, and now if I try to fly around, you can still see it's at 400,000. I'm flying around, and it's staying up there, it's staying topped off. This is being depleted, the battery. So what you can do is you can uh, have a lot more of extended flight time with this battery pack. You just got to make sure you wait for the and uh, recharge the battery when it needs to be recharged. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let me put that in here now. Let's get this fully charged. Well, that's all I have time for today. I hope you did like this video. Uh, we did a lot of base work. We got some jet packs. We did some neat things. We're going to continue on with this in the next episode with the base. So uh, stay tuned. It's going to be really, really a lot of fun. Uh, if you like this video, please click the like button. If you have any comments, put them in the comments section. And if you'd like to be notified of videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get the notifications. Thanks again. I am Taker77. Have a great day. Bye-bye.